it's exactly 12 midnight but i thought before i go to sleep i can go live and teach you a very small lesson about lebanese expressions i'm gonna talk about uh, how to say someone is patient in the lebanese dialect hi guys so uh, i'm gonna talk about three ways of saying someone is patient uh, before I begin, I just want to say that I'm doing a 30-day challenge on YouTube. So today is going to be the 19th lesson. So if you're interested in that, you can go to my YouTube lessons and do the 30-day challenge. Alternatively, I also run 30-day challenges on Zoom. We are beginning on Monday. We do Lebanese Arabic every single day together for a period of 30 days. For more information, I'm going to leave my email address under this video. Also, um... If you think you want to do the 30-day challenge but you need more flexibility, I now have pre-recorded 30-day challenge courses of Lebanese Arabic. You can benefit from the 30-day challenge and do them at your own pace and you would have lifetime access to them. So yeah, now I'm going to start talking. So the word for the word patient in Arabic is sabur, sabur. Sabur. I'm gonna write them down later on in the in the under the video when I post it as a as an IGTV. So the word is sabur, patient, and it's related to the word sabr, patience. Sad be re, that's patient, as patience, sabr. But if you want to say patient, you have so you have to say sabur, and in the feminine form you have to say sabura. That's my friend writing it. Hi Fado. So check how he's writing them. So sabur in the masculine form and sabura in the feminine form. Hi Nabila. So uh, that's the usual word we use. But in the Lebanese dialect, we have another expression to say someone is patient. We say belo, his mind, tawil is long. Bel is mind. Belo is his mind, and tawil means long. Belo. Tawil, his mind is long, which means he is patient. Belo Tawil. And in the feminine form, if you're talking about a girl and saying she is patient, you say Bela Tawil. Why? Because when you have the word Bel, you have to at attach a possessive ending to it. Belo, the O in the end, makes it masculine. And Bela with the Leko. Guys, Fadi is writing them so you can check them. He's using the uh, Latin script though. I will write them with the Arabic script later on. So, Bela Tawil, if you add the A in the end, that makes it feminine. Bela Tawil. So, first we have Sabur, patient. Belo Tawil, literally his mind is long. And in the feminine form, you have to say Bela Tawil. But the main expression I want to talk about today is a very nice expression and it comes from like really the culture. Or from old times. The expression is Ftilto Tawile. Ftilto Tawile. And what does this mean? It can mean more than one thing and it can mean not just patient. First of all, let me break it down. The word Ftile, Ftile, that has a te marbuta in the end, is that, uh, you know, the, the one inside a candle or a lamp, uh, what, was it, what is it called? I checked it on Google but I forgot. Like that thread inside a candle. Let me check. One second. Um, <laughs> I forgot how to say it. I'm just asking Google, what's inside a candle? Uh, it's called a wick, W-I-C-K. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, a wick. So that's in Arabic. We, that in Arabic, we call it ftile. Ftile. Now, ftile to is his ftile. So why? Because the word ftile has a te marbuta we don't pronounce. But when we add the possessive ending o in the end, of course I'm not going to say ftile o. I have to pronounce the te marbuta and I say ftilto. Ftilto, which means his wick, literally. And tawile means long. Why? Because the word ftile is a feminine word, so we have to use a feminine adjective with it. Ftilto tawile. His wick is long and in the feminine form you have to say ftileta tawile so again the word ftile is that thread inside a candle that's the wick ftileta her wick is long okay where does this expression come from and what does it mean it's really nice if we know where it comes from apparently in old times when a woman used to marry a man she used to go to his home uh, with a new lamp 
uh, and a new wick okay so they wouldn't use his old lamp because like the new light kind of symbolizes a new life okay so the the culture was at that point that they light the new lamp with the new ftile and the man uh, wasn't allowed to approach the woman until the whole lamp or candle burns out and it goes off and then he is allowed to come close to her so that's why sometimes they use that's where the expression comes from where a woman had a long wick it used to take so much time to burn and the man would be you know have to, would have to wait kind of patiently to be able to approach a woman and that's where the expression ftileta tawile comes from initially it came from the feminine form because it's the woman's ftile that used to be long and that's how the expression being patient came from now and that's why for example if uh, that's the story of my life uh, me ftilte uh, is very tawile ftilte tawile why because I take so much time in getting ready and getting dressed and all of that. And if somebody is annoyed, they can look at me and say, How long is your ftile? So here in this case, it doesn't mean patient. It can mean two, two things. It can mean patient and it can mean someone that takes so much their time, you know, you know, you know. Amahilna, slowly, you know, we have nothing, we have nowhere to go, we're just taking our time, it takes us ages to get ready, it's okay, even if the, the, the other person waits 10 hours for us. So that's where you can say, if, shuftil tik tawile, you can say, if, like, you know, you're annoyed, if, shu means literally what, but you're saying, how long is your ftile, shuftil tik tawile, okay? Now, if I want to use it in the, in the, in the sense of being patient, I also say this to about myself, in the sense that it takes me so long to be angry. So in that case, it can translate as being patient. I think I have a feeling you could be. Eh? So whoever has a long write it in the comment box. So I can say, فتيلتي طويلة لأنه بدي كتير وقت لعصب I need a lot of time to be angry mm, I'm not that much, no but like, I mean, when it comes to real important situations I can be patient before I make a decision in that sense, okay? like for example, uh, let's say uh, maybe I have a boyfriend and he's not acting right, okay? I can give them one, two, three, four, five, ten chances. If I'm giving them more and more and more, that's when I can say ftilte tawile. It means I'm being patient until I run out of patience. Okay? So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about these three ways of talking about patience and saying that someone is patient. Uh, yalla, tell me who is patient and who is not. Tell me if you are sabur or sabura. If you're a guy, you have to say ana sabur. If you are a girl, you have to say Ana Sabura. Uh, <laughs> Fadi, Fadi is saying to me he is without Aftile even. <laughs> so, Fadi, uh, do we have another way? Whoever knows another way of saying patient, uh, of saying someone is patient, yeah, remind me so I can explain it. So, if you're a guy, you say Ana Sabur. If you're a girl or woman, you have to say Ana Sabura, I am patient. You can also say, as I said, my mind is long, bele tawil. And uh, if you're talking about someone else, you can say belo tawil. He is patient. Oh, bela tawil. She is patient. But about yourself, you have to add the e possessive ending e bele tawil. And finally, the third one would be ftilte tawile. I am patient. Ftilte tawile. And if you're saying it about someone else, you can say ftilto, his ftile, his candle wick, ftilto tawile, and her candle wick is ftileta tawile. These are just three ways that crossed my mind to say patient. Anybody knows another one? Yalla, write it in the comment box. Uh, also, I wanted to say again, one more time to whoever signed in now, I run 30-day challenge courses. 
uh, on Zoom together every single day. Rosie, tell them how nice the courses are. <laughs> she does my courses. Um, and um, yeah, we study Lebanese Arabic every single day. There are levels all the way from absolute beginners to advanced. And also uh, recently I started doing pre-recorded 30-day Lebanese Arabic challenge courses for, the, for those of you who are really interested in doing them, but you need flexibility to, to study on your own, but still do a 30-day challenge. Um, and also another piece of news, stay tuned. My Lebanese Arabic dialogue dialogues book is coming very very soon yalla if no one has a question i'm just gonna leave and actually the opposite let's talk because fadi is saying he doesn't have a ftile at all so basaltak mahrua fadi is it how you are so so he reminded me of an expression when you say basaltak mahrua or basalte mahrua is the opposite of ftilte tawile uh, you would be literally saying basle. Basle is an onion. Basle. Okay. Basalte is my onion. Basalte. Basalte mahru'a. Mahru'a is burned in the masculine form. Mahru'a is burned in the feminine form. And by the way, it's a, it's a participle. So when you say basalte mahru'a, you're literally saying my onion is burned. I don't know why we use this. Maybe because, you know, when onion is burnt, it's like is moving and is in the oil or like, you know, and is impatient. Hmm? That's how you describe somebody who is impatient. The opposite of ftil to tawile, like Fadi, for example. He mentioned, ana ma hindi ftile. So ftil to tawile, uh, no, basil to mahru'a. And if I want to say it about myself, I say basil to mahru'a. Impatient, not only impatient in a negative way, it can be in a positive way. Yani you you really, yani, you want to do many things at the same time. Um, you want to achieve things without waiting. You know, you want to jump maybe steps. So that's when you can say, basalte mahru'a. Okay? Yalla. Enough, uh, enough for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to come back tomorrow for another live. Yalla, bye. Bye, Fado. Thank you for helping. Yalla, bye, guys. Bye. Thank you all for joining. <laughs>